Megan Lee is a mom of two, and recently she shared her thoughts and opinions on this trend that's currently going on. A lot of influencers are getting mommy makeovers or some type of plastic surgery to get their body back after having a baby or multiple babies. Megan shares how all of this is affecting her mental health, and at the end of this video, I wanna share my thoughts and opinions on this as well. I see so many people on social media like getting their bodies done and like snapping back so quickly or like they have a bunch of money to like you know just get things done to make them confident and it's like it's such a such a messed up thing like in our brains the way that we like look at things and why we worry about the way we look it's so superficial megan wrote this on her stories i hate the way society has made our minds think it's a messed up view of the way we see ourselves and how we should look i hate that social media has made us think we need to do these things to our bodies to feel better and be accepted. I've struggled with self-confidence for so many years and it sucks to see other moms always getting things done just because they can. Megan also posted this on Instagram. Having babies is literally the most selfless thing you could do. We give up everything, especially our bodies, and we never feel the same again. There's so much pressure to look a certain way after having a baby. I'm tearing myself apart looking at social media. It really sucks the life out of us more laundry and I am getting a bunch of like summery springy stuff out because we're going to be going away to Florida. After posting everything about her mental health and social media and how she's feeling about her body, she then posted these stories to Instagram just showing a clothing haul and just went on about her day like none of that happened. Some viewers think she hides her stories, certain Instagram stories from her family and friends, so they can't see her breakdowns on social media. Megan gets on Instagram upset a lot. She cries a lot on social media. I mean, there's a lot going on there. And I believe she overshares, and I think it's pretty obvious that social media can be a toxic place for her, but she continues to get on it and post and compare herself to others on social media. I wanted to share Megan's perspective on what she is seeing and feeling on social media right now. I know it might seem like everybody's getting mommy makeovers and plastic surgery, but I wanna be just one voice that says everybody doesn't do it. Everybody doesn't get a mommy makeover after having babies. Everybody doesn't feel like they need that. There are so many beautiful women out there who had babies and never had plastic surgery. So everybody doesn't do it. I don't think every woman needs plastic surgery in order to feel confident. Some people do need plastic surgery to feel confident. I've heard women say that, but just because someone does something doesn't mean you have to do it. It doesn't mean it's best for you. So everybody just has to do what's best for them and get off social media sometimes. Be more involved, present, and active in your real life. You don't have to follow and be influenced by influencers. I'm not naming names, but some influencers are some of the most toxic people I've ever seen in my life. They're not mentally stable. They have their own mental health issues they struggle with. Some have body dysmorphia and EDs and so many other mental health issues. But when it comes to your body, these are not people you should be looking up to or being influenced by. There are so many positive things about social media. We have access to unlimited information. We can connect with people all over the world. Opportunities that would never be possible are there because of social media. However, social media can affect your mental health in a negative way. I think most of us would agree with that. So I think it's important to have boundaries when it comes to social media. Healthy boundaries on social media are so important. If you're a viewer or a creator, it doesn't matter. You need boundaries when it comes to social media. Don't compare yourself. I know that's easier said than done, but you just can't do it. Influencers live a completely different life than you live as a viewer. Influencers are in the entertainment business. It's their job to shop. 
they're on camera all the time. They just live completely different lives. So you cannot compare your life to their life. Limit your use of social media. Don't be on social media all day. Give yourself an hour, 30 minutes, whatever you feel comfortable with. View social media as entertainment only. Do not view social media as real life because it's not. So much of it is fake. It's scripted, it's planned, it's edited, it's so fake. And the most important thing I feel like you can do is foster relationships in your real life. Focus on your real life. And let yourself be influenced by people in your real life. People you know, people you spend time with, people you love and trust. One more thing, this is so important. Unfollow. Unfollow influencers who just don't do it for you. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.